hello guys welcome back once again to this new tarot reading um i wanted to take the opportunity since i'm recovering from my voice to do a reading for red velvet uh, members um actually my intention was to uh, start with um with joy because uh, she had been requested also she had been mentioned uh, but I don't know why I felt like the need to uh, to actually start with Irene um, I know that she she has like um, um, a strong personality from what I can see um, I believe she eats um, she is an Aries with a moon, um, with a moon in Virgo. So that's a very like interesting um, um, mix in the sense that uh, I can see her moon in Virgo pretty easily, and actually it's the first thing that caught my attention. And then I have the, the archetype cards that actually confirms it because she has uh, the archetype of the nun, the archetype of the virgin, and the Adonis that, that can talk a little bit about um, Aries energy. Let's not forget that she is an Aries. So let's dive in a little bit in her energy so I can connect with her and I can get to know her a little bit better. Um, when it comes to the archetype of the of the of the nun, um, I have the feeling that she is really devoted. She is really like she's from someone that is really hardworking, and that she must have a system of belief, or maybe like a certain structure about how to do things, or how to go after things that may seem a little bit rigid for people that um, are not familiar with the way she she was brought up or or what her background is um, with the nun and the virgin archetype I have the feeling that she is someone that uh, devotes a lot of her intelligence and of her her working nature to achieve a certain goal but somehow um, she is not very like there are other areas in her personality that are not um, that somehow are not developed and that uh, it's like because she is so focused on on achieving a certain goal that she uses her mind and her willpower to be devoted to those aspects of her life so maybe when it comes to something more emotional or something that has to do with feelings and has to do with connecting with others she is not very good at that especially when you think about the monk and nun archetype uh, you know that uh, the the monk and the nun actually they take vows, uh, they have a lot of restrictions and they sacrifice a lot uh, in order to be faithful to what they believe in or about the the uh, the system of belief that they have, and also that they their lifestyle is pretty lonely. It's like a solitary road, and it's something that it's very personal but at the same time it affects uh, their interaction with others is like it limits them somehow so I have the feeling that for for um, in the case of Irene she has this kind of hermetism about her that is like and also if we think about the moon in Virgo that I had talked about this moon in Virgo because there are a lot of idols that have it for example, BTS Suga has it, and I always say about Moon in Virgos that actually Moon in Virgos are very protective and are very jealous of their privacy, 
and also they are very protective and really they don't like people to be so close to them in a sense that it takes a while for them to to actually trust someone or to realize if they like you uh, and they tend to be a little bit detached emotionally but they are emotionally it's just that they don't show it and also there's an aspect that is important is their personal space they and I mean this in the physical space they don't like people to be so close to them like they get really they get really anxious and they get really sensitive when it comes to people being all over them actually they some moon in virgos have trouble with pda and have trouble with expressing affection in in a physical way for example giving hugs or touching someone and let's not talk about receiving about being hugged or being touched they do not like it because they are so sensitive and maybe you think oh, oh well Virgo is not a very sensitive sign but actually Virgo it's like the opposite of Pisces so they even though they are opposites they do share this kind of a spiritual side so they tend to be a bit sensitive uh, when it comes to energies and when it comes to this need to be like this lone wolf or maybe this need to be this hermit in order to not lose themselves in the connection with others so they tend to be solitary people and they struggle with making connections with others and if we see the archetype of the virgin um like i always say uh virgin i mean it's, it's not that literally she's a virgin it means that her mindset is of a virgin and it means that that somehow like i said she can have a lot of experiences for example when regarding to her professional life or her academic life it's like she is really when it comes to intellectual matters maybe she is really diligent and she is really knowledgeable but when it comes to matters of the heart or maybe matters that includes uh, close relationships or maybe like um, having like emotional balance and being really in touch with how you feel and being good at expressing how you feel to others maybe in that sense she is a virgin in the sense that she is not very she's not very in touch with her emotional side it's like she pushed it aside it's like an aspect of herself that is not being discovered yet or that somehow she makes the decision to not explore that side of herself to be a virgin in that aspect because it somehow doesn't uh, it's like she doesn't feel like it serves her like it's useful to her to develop that side um, I don't know why uh, and I don't know if she comes from a religious family uh, I don't think so but there is something about her upbringing there's something I don't know if she is the only child or if she's the older child like the, the firstborn because I believe that she was brought up with a lot of ideas uh, passed on to her, like a lot of uh, traditions or maybe that are a bit old fashioned, but it's like she has this responsibility of doing well in her career when it comes to making money. Because it's like somehow her family struggled a lot financially so it's like she is like this golden ticket to get out of this situation so it's like uh, it's like she was trained to be uh, to take this opportunity to be in the spotlight because I don't think she's comfortable actually being in the spotlight even though she is really smart and she is really professional and, and it's like she has the attitude but I see her actually as someone that is not very comfortable in the scene, 
in being in the spotlight, uh, especially because of the closeness that she, or maybe this aspect that you have to somehow pretend in front of a camera, that you have to smile and you have to be happy all the time and you have to be hyped all the time and you have to be nice to everyone. So it's like for a moon in Virgo, it, uh, it's not easy to pretend. Uh, and let's not forget that she's an Aries. So when I talk about Aries energy, I always mention Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and Aries Ascendant, and often Venus in Aries also. Um, because Aries is it's an energy ruled by Mars, uh, and Mars is a masculine planet. Uh, a lot of uh, Aries traits are all about being assertive, all about being the warrior, about being the initiator, about being a fighter, about being a go-getter, about being always after the goal and being totally like uh, relentless when it comes to achieving your goals. So they tend to be a little bit like uh, selfish in that sense because you know that Aries is the first sign of the zodiac so when, they est when their energy starts it's like they start on base of themselves and their inner strengths and passion. Then when we go after all, all the other signs in the zodiac wheel, we learn to integrate others. But when we think about Aries, Aries it's all about um, it's all about me. It's all about me starting, me initiating, me achieving. It's the me me. Uh, so, and of course this can, can seem a little bit like, oh, charming when you think about a sun in Aries or a moon in Aries or a, a rising Aries uh, male. But when you see it in a girl, somehow since this, uh, this uh, energy is, is strong and is somehow aggressive, it's like you are like whoa what's going on with her oh she she looks like she doesn't like me she looks like she's pissed pissed off all the time she looks like she's uncomfortable she looks like she 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 doesn't like to be here like and yes probably but that's what i'm 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 i want you to understand sometimes the prejudices that comes with this energy that somehow if you are a male it's really admiring to be passionate and to be uh, merciless when it comes to achieving your goal but when it comes to a female it's like oh my god she is a gold digger or oh my god she's so aggressive oh my god she's so mean like and you have to understand the Aries energy the Aries energy is an energy that yes it, sometimes they do not contemplate others but they do achieve great things for other people to follow them or for other people to be inspired by their energy. So yes, they do things for themselves, they do things to achieve for themselves, but they end up benefiting, uh, benefiting others as well. So that's what I wanted you to understand, that if she sometimes looks a bit intimidating or looks a bit rough, is because this Aries energy, it's it, she just doesn't have time to 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 play to play nice or to play dumb or to play naive or to play like she's sweet and and innocent when actually she has all this passion inside of her that she is like get out of my way because I want to get what I want but actually I have the feeling also this part of this uh, astrological thing that I'm talking about that she had been raised like this uh, because I don't think this is what she wants but I think that um, and, and it was like they also like told her that she needed to put aside her own desires in order to achieve popularity or in order to be to stand out and to be uh, to be successful. It's like she's in this competition mode or at least she started that way 
because she was instructor or she was trained to be that way. It's like she was trained to be like, to keep her eyes on the ball. It doesn't matter how she feels inside. So the other card is the hedonist. So this is what I think about the financial situation in her upbringing. Uh, I don't know if there are uh, fans of her that maybe somehow can give me some feedback about her maybe um, I'm not saying her childhood because it's not this but uh, so I can understand a bit where she comes from but I have the feeling of the hedonist that yes for her it's really important to actually uh, gain money and uh, to she is and she is really after that she's like she's someone that probably pays a lot of attention about how much money she earns and maybe she's like really uh, she's really good with numbers so she pays a lot of attention when it comes to her outcomes where he where it comes to her expenses and also she has this need to be surrounded by beautiful things or maybe uh, living in a comfortable place she she likes beautiful things um, it's like somehow she doesn't like ugly things. It's like she makes this weird face. I don't know why. But for example, if she goes to a place where it's a bit like uh, um, poor or is not, or uh, is not, well, this is Moon in Virgo too. Moon in Virgo has this OCD that if things are not organized or if things are all over the place, she gets really upset. It's like she has this like obsessive compulsive behavior that it's about wanting everything to be in order and wanting to everything to be t tidy and everything to be cleaned and especially when it comes to hygiene so high odors other people's hygiene other people's uh the room environment she pays attention to everything so i don't know if she has like anxiety when it comes to ocd because it's like she wants to surround herself with good things so she has to avoid uh, um, getting like having like really close encounter with places that she considers ugly or anesthetic uh, so she is a bit picky when it comes to this but I'm not saying that it's because she has this princess like attitude actually I think it has to do with her with her upbringing, I don't know why, but I have the feeling that when she was younger, she didn't have all these things. She didn't have like the comfort when it comes to financial matters. Actually, I have the feeling that her family lost money somehow or that they had to pretend that they had a certain lifestyle when actually they were poor. So it's like she's struggling it's like she came from from a place of lack of lacking and and that's why she gets so attached to material things because she's afraid of losing her status because it, it was like she she went through a similar situation in her past so that's why she feels this need to be surrounded by comfort so let's go with the tarot cards she got the three of cups the three of pentacles temperance the seven of cups strength the queen of pentacles the hangman the judgment uh, the nine of uh, of wands and the knight of wands um <coughs> so she is really she's really an aries <laughs> all these ones here um there are a lot of frees also, so I have the feeling that uh, she had been working uh, a lot with the members, like in a group. They had been working, like I don't know what about their career, I don't know, but they are working on something. I don't know if they are working on a comeback or uh, on some kind of project or a song or an album, but they are joining forces and they are working together and she is feeling really motivated she wants to do her best and also they are feeling like they are functioning as a group 
and that they are celebrating this this period um also she's going through a lot of a lot of healing moments uh especially i don't know if she is doing therapy like if she's talking to someone if she is doing like a counseling sessions um because i believe that there's a bit of um inner growth or about uh inner reflection uh it's like insights uh it's like she's coming to realization about a lot of things about herself that like i said she had tried to um There are things about herself that she, that she tried to push back or oppress somehow, especially when it comes to emotions. Um, I have the feeling that she, as, as a child, or maybe when she was really young, she was there was a label put on her. It was like this, this, this phrase that it was, oh yes, you are, you are this. Oh yes, you are this. Oh, I have the feeling of the word Estaborn. I don't know why I have the word. You are Estaborn. And that somehow it's like this Estaborn aspect of herself is like she was taught to believe that you had to be that way in order to get results and in order to get higher in life. So it's like it's like she she there was a label put on her that somehow um it affected her whole persona in the sense that now she's coming into realization and she's getting in touch of herself and she's getting in touch with her own nature and with her essence and realizing that there are other sides of herself that she's not this one thing this one phrase this one role that people said she was or she is it's like she is much more than that and she needs to explore herself a bit more because she had been like supporting this idea of misconception of what everyone wanted her to be like oh yes you have to be this you have to be perfect you have to be this and it's like she suppressed a lot of part of herself and actually the those parts has a lot to do with her own desires and with her own feelings with her own vulnerability i think there's a side of her that doesn't want to show her vulnerability but somehow uh they they are there she has a lot of sides to herself she has a lot of different aspects there are a lot of irenes inside of herself and somehow she was like only choosing one side and protecting the others by forgetting about the others so i think that she is coming through this period of healing and also reconciling with those sides of herself like she needs to be flexible i think that she's really rigid she needs to be more flexible when it comes to her own nature when it comes to what she wants and when it comes to, because it's not, I don't know why, but I have the feeling that it's like she carried this motto or this label with her as an excuse. You know, like saying, oh, I behave this way, I am this way, um, and, and there's no way I'm going to change. So there was like this kind of, like, um, like, oh, uh, warrior medal or warrior flag you know like saying oh yes i'm this way uh you know i have this character that you know um i'm like this and i'm not going to change so now she's starting to realize that she's not that part actually she's much more and that actually this uh this misconception of who she thinks she is or her character is actually something that is subjected to change that she needs to change because it will affect her dreams it will affect her ambitions it will affect her 
uh, her real life, it will affect her relationship with others. Because it's like she doesn't open up. It's not easy to get close to her. It's not easy to to know her. It's really... And it's because she, I believe she is not... She doesn't have emotional education. So it's like... But that's because she wasn't... She wasn't taught. She wasn't... Uh, it's like somehow she was taught that being emotional it's useless that it's pointless that it doesn't get you anywhere so but she does feel she does have these strong emotions but somehow by locking them or by not expressing them they are turning into something negative into something toxic inside of her because they are like turning into these symptoms because they want to get out and she's like somehow wanting to to hold the door to hold the door closed so it they doesn't come out and they want to come out and they will come out in the wrong way because it's like she had been suppressing them for so long but i think that she's healing herself and she's also learning a lot about herself so the other cards the strengths um the strengths the um the Queen of Pentacles and the Hangman. Um, it talks about this suppression. It talks about um, that she's suppressing herself. She's suppressing her own. She's denying her own desires, actually. Um, I think she is also thinking about uh, how close she was to lose her financial stability. So I think there's a fear of losing money of losing a status she's afraid of that but at the same time she came to realize that also this need of her to be in control it means that there are things about her nature that she is not being open about um, and I want to say this because I think that she's holding her desires a lot she's holding her instincts, instincts a lot she's not only only hope holding back like denying her emotional nature she's also denying her sexual needs uh, it's like she has because she's an Aries so she has a lot of passion she has a lot of desire um, she has like this instinctive nature and passionate nature but somehow this moon in Virgo is what, what makes her think is like no no uh, I'm, I'm not going to get uh, too uh, close to my, my emotional or my physical needs because it's like I don't want to lose control. I don't want to waste time. I want to work. I want to concentrate on work. I want to be the best. I want to perfectionate myself. So she is like neglecting that part and she needs to express it. She needs to express it because actually she can be really sexual and actually in sexual activity and maybe in sexual nature in desires we find creativity and we also find inspiration in creating new things so maybe i don't know maybe she cannot have sex but or she is doesn't feel comfortable like with uh like uh, having like a sexual encounter with someone but maybe she can like use this desire inner desire inside of her um by i don't know writing a song writing a lyric creating something um, um but express it just express it and with the judgment and the nine of wands i have the feeling that she she somehow is still a bit fearful when it comes to other people's opinion but she's not afraid actually i mean she is afraid she she knows that she she uh it will, it's going to take a while for people to forgive forgive her or people to think negative of her i'm not saying all of them but there are people that have their strong opinions about her and she at the same time is this in this uh defensive mode it's like she is angry at herself for putting herself in this situation 
but at the same time she's angry at the public and it's not it's not that she thinks that it's not her fault it's just that um she just doesn't understand how how she let herself do this it's like she is angry at herself and in response she gets angry she resents the public and not all the public not her fans but she resents people because actually there's something about moon in virgos that that's why i'm amazed that they uh, they put themselves in these idol roles because actually sometimes moon in virgo uh, people don't like people actually <laughs> They don't like to interact with others, actually, with strangers. That's what I mean. They don't like to interact with people that they are not comfortable with or people that they don't know. So that's why I remember when when uh, BTS Suga had talked about his anxiety and his depression and and that he he really struggled when it comes to social interactions and that Uh, he had always wanted to be a producer and somehow been in the creative side of the process and actually I think this also means not only about him wanting to do, to do music but also to be in a role that doesn't require him to interact with people and actually to put, put in this mask and in this facade about being smiling and happy and grateful all the time in moments where sometimes you don't feel your best. Well, sometimes you don't want to shake everyone's, a stranger's hands. And you don't want to pretend like you love everyone when actually you don't feel like it. Or maybe you are not happy. Or maybe, I don't know, you are going through a rough time in your life and you have to pretend like you're happy. So for Moon in Virgo people, it's really hard to pretend. So, and especially when it comes to facial expressions, they are really bland. And, and let's not forget that she's also an Aries. So Aries tend to have sometimes these gestures about themselves that they tend to have this frown in in their in their eyebrows. Like they tend they have this way of staring at you as if they were mad at you. And actually it's like a gesture that they have and or maybe their eyebrows are a bit strong. Or the way they stare at you is like they are. They, it looks like they're going to uh, punch you in the face, but actually it's their um, it's their face. <laughs> it's like I know these guys because my dad is an Aries. He's an Aries man, and everyone that knows him is like, oh wow, you 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 that looks so serious. Oh, your dad is scary, and actually he is the softest. And she's, he is the most generous man I ever met in my life. He is such a sweetheart. But in the first impression, in, in impression, when you meet him, he has like this look on his face. Like he really hates you. Like <laughs> really. Like I, and sometimes I'm like, please, like um, try to change your face. Your face. Like try to. A smile a bit more or maybe like soften your your face a little relax your eyebrows I don't know do something but don't look so intimidating because people are afraid of you so I'm not trying to I, I want you to understand that I'm not trying to justify Irene's actions I'm just trying to get you closer to her energy so maybe when you meet people that have her energy or maybe if you have met people close to you and maybe you had experienced what I'm telling you or what I'm, I'm, I'm describing here, maybe you can get to know a little bit that sometimes we cannot judge a book by their appearances and that actually sometimes people that are the most smiling and people that seem the nicest and people that their smile is so bright and they're so eager to be your friend and so eager to please you and so eager to be next to you those people are the most dangerous ones and are the ones that do the most damage and actually they can get away with a lot because they are so nice 
and they are so sociable, sociable, and they have a lot of friends. So this comes from, um, the, it, this is a, a self-reflection. This is a, a reflection I want you to take for your own personal experiences. Not, it's not about worrying, but that's what I want you to always be observant and always like pay attention and just guide by your energies and yes there are people that when you meet them you're like oh, i don't like this person i know but sometimes it's like you have to maybe know a bit about um their background and why they are the way they are uh, not to excuse what they do but just uh to see beyond and actually to learn something about it i mean to be like oh yes like because it's like i don't see her like being happy um i think that she 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 blames herself a lot um and she's like she's finally coming to realization that she needs to sell her set herself free from other people's expectations but it's like somehow she has like a jeep inside of her that's why i i think her upbringing or maybe the way she was raised it has a bit to do with how rigid and how it seems like she is intolerant to and unflexible to other people's opinions because it's like she was she was raised to be that way uh, and now she's coming to realize that this way is not the best way to to act. actually that it has that it doesn't have uh, nothing to do with what she wants that it this this the way she acts the way she she shows herself or the way she was showing herself um doesn't have anything to do with who she really is inside so it doesn't mean that uh, she has to show her true colors because i mean she's in the entertainment industry so somehow it's like um you know w with her baby her uh resting beach face like if, for example in the case of jenny jenny also suffers from a lot of misconception of people there are people that love her resting beach face and there are people that despise her so sometimes you can gain a lot of fans being this way or you cannot so there's something dangerous about that concept that has been delivered to them uh, because somehow like I, I i mentioned this in my jenny reading uh sometimes people especially people that had gone had gone through um episodes of being bullied or being hurt by uh but people with these characteristics it's like they see this idol or they see this concept or they see this image and they project themselves or their experience on this idol so they are like oh no she's like the mean girl in high school i don't like her and it's like there's no way you are going to change that person's per perspective so i don't know if actually in k-pop actually this uh this badass or this uh, this kind of concept of oh i'm a tough bitch or something like that it's it's required like in a group like it's like someone has to play that role um but i don't see irene being that way i see that she is coming to a place of a lot of inner growth where she wants to set herself free from who she was or at least she wants to she wants to let people know let people that care about her that uh, she is much more than this and that she's really sorry especially that she's really angry at herself uh, for for actually not looking around herself and being like a bit more considerate to that there are other people working you know because <coughs> sometimes when you have a moon in virgo it happens that they are really hard working and they are really perfectionist 
and and they are very critic also so sometimes they have this view that they are like the most hardworking people ever and they can be a bit annoying in that sense because they they tend to be a bit critic with people that they consider that are not putting the same amount of effort that they are putting because they are so hard they are so critic on themselves that they tend to critic other people's uh, performances for example if they are giving a 110 percent and and they see that you are giving a hundred percent they are like how come you're not giving 110 percent like i'm being really professional here how come you you're not you're you're not at, at my level we all have to to put the same of effort and i'm here like giving my best and and i don't see you giving your best so they have that that side because virgo nature tends to be really analytic so they cannot unseen what they see and sometimes they are pretty verbal about it and they hurt a lot of people's feelings in the process because it's like they are very hardworking and they are very they are always like devoted to a certain craft and a certain activity and they 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 are so disciplinary that sometimes they tend to be like a bit harsh on others like looking around like oh yes if i can do it why cannot you something like this so there's a lot to learn about this energy but uh, like i said let, let's take this interpretation to get too close to her energy and not to judge because well uh, we are human guys we are human let's not forget that these people are human and that we do not know the half of things that happen behind behind scenes so let's let's just take uh interpretations let's just dive in into what we can see and let's just uh maybe if we don't agree uh let's just like i always say just take what resonates with you if it doesn't resonate just leave it so i'll leave i'll leave you uh, i'll leave the reading here thank you so much for being here with me uh and be patient with me so i'll see you in the next video bye